My name is Jose Otero. I am here with Per Schneider. Hi, Jose. My fellow squid in arms. And we yeah. are here checking out the uh, trailer for the new stages coming to Splatoon. Uh -huh. So this is part of a free update that you're going to be getting. In fact, the when you're watching this, th this first map should be online. Yeah. And it's set inside of an art museum yeah which is look fantastic. you can even see some uh, some splatoon takes on real art like on the left you see uh, that's an ukiyo that's a woodblock print from japan mm -hmm. depicting usually a kabuki actor but here he's got the he's got the squid ears <laughs> squid right Buki actor this is yeah i'm i'm into ukiyo this is uh, toshusai sharaku uh, the artist and on the right next to it van gogh van gogh and that's the take on starry night only you've got a starry squid obviously <laughs> so it's pretty cool yeah it's pretty dope oh wait let's go back a little bit so i do want to point out the very chic uh jacket so there's some new gear that you're looking at obviously the new hotness being bandanas uh the gear the squid is wearing in the center that's a new coat that i can tell uh also the squid on the left with the bandana those look like steel toe shoes but i'm not sure yeah um and then you've got one with a beret in the back over there, if you see them, uh, I think that's rad. Uh, yeah. There are 40 new pieces of gear that are that you're able to unlock in the game. Now, remember, these are gear; these are wearable items. These are not weapons. Uh -huh. Just want to make that clear. Love that sweater vest combo uh, and the shoes. Yeah, uh, no, gotta I, be the shoes. I think I mean the ben bandanas open up all new looks, right? Like yeah. it's gonna <laughs> some some really good painting. Oh, did you see that? Oh, the thinker. That's Rodin. Yeah, yeah. that's the statue. Obviously the thinker, but you know. Yeah, and there you can see the other two paintings over in the distance that yep. we were just discussing. And there's probably more nods. There's so if you lots. are an art buff, make sure you leave a comment telling us, hey, at blank seconds, it's this print. Because we yeah. definitely wanted to uh, just call out a few of them. Ew. So <laughs> unleash your inner gangsta with these yep. uh, with these bandanas. That's pretty cool, yep. right? Uh, you can, I actually, mean, that's your inner Bowser Jr., I guess, if you think about it. Yeah, almost, <laughs> right? But, I mean, they could take it there. You've got Hokusai on the left. There was another woodblock print. There, oh, no. Non Fuji you're right kidding. There. Right yeah. there? Right yeah, there on, on the, the left. left the oh, one. very cool. Yeah. Good eye, good eye. Yeah, oh, awesome Warhol. popular stuff. Yeah, Warhol there potentially the, right there. The, the Campbell's tomato soup cans. Yeah. Yes. But now they're fish cans. Fish cans. Sardines, presumably. Yep. So you are going to paint this place up. Um, so let's just take a quick look. There are these spinning platforms, rotating platforms, which can be an interesting part of strategy when you're trying to take turf wars because you're basically a moving target yeah. uh, on one of these things. Um, and you're elevated, so... Let's see how that works out. I mean, it's it's it, it's cool, right? Because the person obviously obviously standing there has to have good aim, and mm -hmm. it, it requires a new strategy because you have a moving element like so that. So check this out. This is the first overhead in the trailer of the entire map, and you'll see here from the spawn point. Yeah. There are three central sort of spinning uh, pillars. Yeah. Pillars. Yeah. Propellers. And you have some other like moving, potentially moving elements left and right. Like that's. It's pretty wild. This is a complicated map. If yeah. you look at it, it has so many elevated um, platforms, and then yeah. it's, it has a couple of, uh, you know, fall through platforms. There go the thinkers on the right and left. Oh, yeah. Right there. That's yeah, pretty good. That's pretty cool. Um, along with some other stuff. Wow, that's awesome. Like, this is I'm like uh, this is like Batman One. You can deface art with paint. Yes. Oh the man, Joker that's right. <laughs> All right, uh, so that's your first look uh, at the museum, the Alfonso, and this is Mahi Mahi Resort, which uh, let's just go back a little bit here. Actually, I do want to point to uh, the gear that they're wearing at first. Oh, I missed it. Let me go back a little more. Sorry about that. All right, so from here, a little fun in the sun. Um, I found the premise of this level interesting. So first off, uh, we're going to go back a little bit. <laughs> that is a little like so sailor good. outfit going yeah. on there. That's kind of cool. Also, those look a little bit more Chuck Taylor-ish, but I can't yeah. quite tell. They have a squid on them. Yeah, they have a squid on them, uh, as everything does in this game <laughs> Yeah, these days. Uh, there, I don't recognize that t-shirt, so that seems new to me as well. Uh, it's kind of cool, and those shoes. Um, it's kind of cool because in Japan, some of these t-shirts are actually sold yep. by a Kyoto-based t-shirt company. Um, you'd have to do a little digging on the internet to find that. That's I think it's cool. King of Games is the label. But we've got scuba gear, obviously, but we still can't go in water. Yeah, well, the these water is deadly. don't like water. Yeah, to squids, water does not yeah. go over well. It's, I mean, that's uh, based on real life. Look squids, at that. You got obviously. your little... Uh, so this is 100% a soccer uniform, but it also reminds me of uh, FC Barcelona, which is uh -huh. the hotness. If, you, if you're into Spanish soccer, oh, yeah. you know what's up. Um, they already had cleats in the game, to be fair. They had orange cleats as part of the last uh, update that I remember, so it's cool to see another variation on them. Um, yeah, but this this map is all about the agua, man. It's all man. about water. 
Uh, you definitely want to stay away from water or that happens to you. Yep. Uh, which, uh, that's that's scary to me. Like, uh. This could be really frustrating, especially yeah. when you're using, you know, with shields and stuff. And mm-hmm. once you start pushing people yeah. around. Like, you put a splash wall up to just yeah, keep someone from exactly. jumping on a platform, perhaps. This part freaked me out at first <laughs> because at a certain point in the match, the turning point, basically the water level lowers but to me i thought the stuff you painted was lowering i was like no don't wash it off but oh, instead it just opens up more areas for you to paint and so you've got to frantically cover that stuff if you're trying to take turf wars yeah and which i is think interesting it's a great strategy in order to in order to let make people break out of being at a certain choke point right like mm-hmm. there's there's some maps where you're just fighting over one point yeah um and this kind of alleviates that in that it opens up the map at a certain point absolutely yeah no definitely um and i love that these maps are made with specifically turf wars in mind but i can't wait to see like what happens in rainmaker Man. what happens in you know tower uh you know uh territory control like with the, the more specific like splat zones like what what are you gonna cover and for how long but I uh, love that, by the way. Little, uh, <laughs> what do Jelly we call these guys? Yes, guys. jellyfish wearing yeah. uh, bikinis. Uh, pool see, they side. know what's up. They're they're able to float <laughs> on the water. Yeah, let's see. And that one especially <laughs> is my favorite. <laughs> Looks so chill. Very chill. So there you have it, folks. A trailer for the two new maps coming to Splatoon. Now, the first one's available by the time you see this, the museum. The second, Mahi Mahi Resort. Doesn't have a date yet, but I would not be surprised if December is the time that you'll get this map. It'll pop out when you least expect it. Exactly. And for everything Splatoon, including our updated review, keep it right here at IGN.